6-2 for the Thunder from Down Under, dispatching Stephen Maguire. It was never going to be an easy match, but uh, you made good work of that. Yeah, it was, it was, it was really, uh, a really difficult match, actually. 6-2 six, six was a little flattering. Um, yeah, Stephen had his chances, and um, yeah, once again, table's very, very difficult to play on. Again today, it was um, nearly impossible to keep hold of the cue ball, and uh, with you know the inconsistent bounces off the cushions, we were running out of position a lot, so... Um, yeah, probably similar with my match with Joe. I think I probably just handled the, the situation a little bit better and was perhaps just a little bit more solid than Stephen today. Obviously, you were playing alongside your semi-final opponent. You didn't know which one was going to win the match, but were you finding yourself glancing over from time to time with, with no screen between the two tables? Yeah, I mean, yeah, in between frames, and if there's nothing else to do, then, yeah, you probably just you know have a little look over, see what's happening. Um yeah, I don't. I wasn't really sort of focusing on on the other table. I was just sort of glancing over here and there in between sort of Stephen shots or in between frames that I was playing. So um, yeah, I mean, looked it looked as though you know Stuart was playing pretty well though. And um, yeah, I'm going to have to uh, step up a, a couple of levels from my performances this week because I haven't really played that well yet. Were you surprised, especially bearing in mind the manner in which Ronnie dispatched Robert Milkins six nil last night in? less than 70 minutes or so. Were you surprised that uh, that he wasn't able to come back into that one, even though you weren't obviously watching huge elements of the match? Yeah, I mean, did Stuart go 2-0 up or something, or was it 3-1? So, yeah, obviously the, the key with Ronnie is not to let him get on top of you and, and just, you know, he'll, he'll just steam steamroll you. And, uh, you know, so Stuart, you know, 3-1 up, I guess it's, you know, he's sort of in there. He's, he's going to be in there no matter what, you know. So, um, yeah, I think... You know, I didn't really see too much of the match, but um, it seemed as though Stuart played okay. You know, I mean, I know he missed a few, and you know, Ronnie probably you know could have played better himself. But um, yeah, overall, I think you know Stuart's been playing really well. He's you know he's top eight in the world, I think, and uh, you know he got to the final last week and came very close to beating Ronnie. So um, yeah, like I say, I'm gonna have to raise my game because if I don't, I'll, I'll probably get beat tomorrow. How conscious are you of the fact that you know, you've won the world title, you've won the Masters, there's only seven or eight players who've done the triumvirate, as it were, and, and done this one as well. Is, is that something that you're conscious of, that, that you, want to, you want to complete the hat-trick? Yeah, I mean, I almost see it as completing the quadruple, really, because you know, I won the Grand Prix twice in the World Open when it was a big BBC event. And um, you know, up when I won that, not many players had won the, the Masters Worlds and the, and the Grand Prix, so, um, you know... To be able to, obviously, that tournament is is no longer is no longer on the calendar. But you know, I'm, I still have a chance. To, winning the UK, I'll join a, a select group of players there as well. So um, it's kind of like a bit of a double sort of milestone. But um, I just have to go out and play much better tomorrow because um, you know t today wasn't really the sort of style of snooker I really like playing. But you know, we were sort of our hands are forced a bit, I guess, because you know because how the table is playing. But um, tomorrow I'm, I'm going to enjoy a lot more. Tomorrow I should be able to play a much more free flowing game. Um, you know, Stuart's going to Stuart's an attacking player as well. So um, you know, I think that um, you know safety will probably be pretty important tomorrow. You know, not to not to leave him easy chances. Well done today, and that is going to be a great semi final. We can't wait. All right, cheers, Rob. Thanks. I am a champion.